It's 5 a.m. Now where the fuck are you? Alright guys, I just want to show you an, how, an example of how I um, set my program as in Fitness Warrior training program. I start off with as far as leg day goes. I have, I do a, what's it called, a one arm kneel stand. It's basically like lunges, but you're putting all the weight to your lateral side. It's mostly bilateral, so one side is holding the weight. The opposite side, this is your left leg, and your right, your right arm is holding the weight, just so your left leg is actually bringing you up. That would be my first day of leg day. Um, as far as the, the other exercises go, I, I actually use a lot of explosive, like power clean, uh, hip thruster, slash, what the heck are they called, like a... Uh, a snatch pull, a uh, power clean pull. So I'm working a lot on that. Become more explosive through the hips. Which helps with your squats. Then for the upper body day goes, I guess I'll have a lower body because lower body is the foundation of everything. So, And the upper body now I actually do is pretty simple. A lot of, uh, I, do, I do a lot of hip bridges. So it's still using the lower body, but using more of the core. Hip bridges are weighted. Um, I use uh, front levers, back levers. I work on my grip. Upper body day has a lot to do with grip for me. I work in the upper back area and traps and lats and so on. While it's working your core. Um, then of course, I like to do a push press. Push press is like my bench press. It's I find it to be a very good exercise to become very functional. It carries on to just about everything else. It helps your squats. It helps just about every other exercise you can think of, including your bench. So if I was to choose to go about the bench, I can, I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem at all because my shoulders are pretty strong after doing this, this uh, push press stuff for like over a year now. Um, then there's, there's the other lower body day. Low, the other lower body day actually starts off with a... Uh, what is it? A one arm front squat. Front squat days. Uh, quite the same for the, for the rest of the exercises in the lower body day. There's actually the same idea of using the hips to actually thrust the weight up. Um, hip bridges are still there, but the weight is actually brought down, doing more of a, a knee extension hip bridge. And then later on, it's back to the push press. So I use grip again. Why do a grip? I like to progress either to, to more advanced types of grip, or while I do a, a progress a certain move, a certain uh, style of grip to, to, just, to, get, to get that more in ground going. That I can have it that is solid and moving well. Last but not least, there's, there's the actual there's a, the kneel stand, which is basically with uh, two legs, <laughs> two arms. So you go into a front row position, you carry the weight, and it's two arms. And, um, yeah. Other exercises are quite the same. It is that I'll either deload or, or bring the weight up. It does. It it'll either be one. So it's still hip bridges. Hip 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 bridges are done every single day. As far as our training goes, and push press is done every single day. It has this change how I do the push press, where I jerk the push press, or actually just push it up smooth and, and clean, 
or actually create more of a demand of like a, a strong man kind of push where I'm kind of struggle to get up. And yep, that's pretty much it, man. They all work in twos. So there's always there's always two days of lower body day in a week, and there's two days of upper body day within the week. And that's how I train.